Originally from North Carolina. Uh, just a brief history of myself. Before being a barber, I used to work the group home system. I was a program manager in North Carolina with a company called Pride of North Carolina. So we worked with uh, youth that were in the social services and things of that nature, trying to get them back on the right track. Uh, but as they usually do people, uh, like that, they weren't giving me a pay raise. Cutting hair was something that I could just do. I uh, started cutting hair when I was 12 years old, actually. I served some time in the military. That honed my skills. I treat barbering as a profession. I don't consider myself a barber. I consider myself a professional hair care gift. And I conduct myself as such. You yeah. got enough for you today. Okay. okay. He's just going to have you walk into the frame of the camera. Just, we know the pants are long. We got to alter them and stuff. I believe in the law of attraction. I believe in God, but I also believe there's a thing called the law of attraction. The clientele that I want is the professional clientele. I want the one that's going to work every day. I want the one that owns his own business. I want the one that's a doctor. I want the one that's a lawyer. Okay. Go back, do that again, because you know you're leaning your head to one side. You got to be cool, but you want to have a center head. <laughs> The reason why I want these people is because right now in the, this recession that we're recovering from, a lot of the barbers in my shop are not cutting nowhere near as much hair as I am because they have a different kind of clientele. Now I'm not saying that you shouldn't cut your boys, you shouldn't cut your friends, but you also always want to be trying to excel to be better at what you do. They love punctuality and the ability to get in and out so they can stay on their schedules. As you uh, get, get uh, comfortable with them, learn them more, you might be able to tell them, okay, I'm 20 minutes off. You know, I got one more in front of you. And I'm saying these things because these are the things that I say to my clients. But that's probably after them having come to me for a year, at least. If you haven't been coming to me for a year, if you're supposed to be at two o'clock, I'm gonna do the best I can to get you in the chair at two o'clock because I don't want to lose you, but what's more importantly, I want to maintain you. I think I have the shirt, I do have the shoes. And if you don't, you have like a white shirt? I got a PR card. Yeah, because if he can do the white shirt open, and y'all can pull this color right here, as in the tie, and tie it in the inside, okay. and leave the shirt open, just so it'll be a suave look to it. Okay, go ahead. Alright, go back. This time, stop the bite of the lip. Look real relaxed. Keep your posture up and just walk the same way you're doing. Perfect. Face, walk. No, stand up. Okay, do it this time. Do it again. Don't laugh. You're going to forget you're wearing glasses. There you go. That's it right there. Good. Excellent. Yeah. You can do it. Perfect. Okay. And that's back to the lawyers, the doctors, the business owners that we're talking about. These are the people that's going to find a way to keep working through a recession. And these are the people that's going to need their haircut. You show them concern. Whether you are sincere about the concern or not, the question makes me believe that, okay, you're concerned about my well-being. That didn't cost you nothing. But it very may well can pay whatever your price of a haircut is plus your tip. Bone was a psychologist. You know, it's not a theory, it's true. Man, I have a problem at home. Man, I got a problem with uh, my, my child today at school. Uh, you know, I had to leave work. You'll find that they're gonna, they're gonna want to talk to you simply after the concern you show. Listen, you might have some advice, you might not. If you got some advice when it's over, it's another plus. <laughs> now, when they say, well, man, where'd you get that shape up from? Uh, what's your name? Tasha. Tashin, Tashin, man, he uh, opened up the shop. He just graduated Beauty Academy in Wheaton. He opened up the shop, man, the guy cut ones for hair. But you know, I had a problem uh, with my kid and I talked my problem over to him. And do you believe it or not, this dude had an answer? So anybody that I meet, I tell him, man, go to Tashin to get your hair cut. Because he listened. 